Madam Deputy Speaker, nobody starts a business with anything other than a dream, a dream of what they want to achieve. Many leave a job they may have that's secure to start a job in something that they adore and they love to start their own business and to grow that into something that may change their lives and many others over the years. And this past year, the pandemic has hit us in a way that many of those dreams haven't so much been dashed, but they've been paused. And what this budget has shown is that there's a deep understanding of how small business runs and the need to support small business through furlough schemes, through different initiatives that will enable those businesses to restart again, to kickstart again in the coming weeks and months. And for the next few years, for those dreams to become a reality. Now, one of the truths of the past few months has been the brilliant initiative of the Kickstart scheme itself. I was very, very fortunate recently to do a Zoom with our local Watford and West Hearts Chamber of Commerce, with Chris Luff and Saffron, who put me in front of a bunch of inspirational young people who were all part of a new Kickstart scheme that they're running. And they told me not just about the economics and the finances and all of the stuff we like to talk about in this place, but they talked about their dreams, how this was changing their lives, how it was giving them hope for their futures. And I think the opportunity through this budget is not just to look inward, but also to look outward. I've seen through this the hope around education. During the past year, what we've seen through things like the Oak Academy is the ability to use education to teach people not just the facts, but actually how to inspire themselves to be better and be different. And I think one of the bits in this, this uh, budget that wasn't really picked up on massively was the infrastructure and the investment in skills and in business skills and in business leadership. Madam Deputy Speaker, you'll be too young, I'm sure, to remember the adverts that used to talk about teaching the world to sing. But I think Global Britain will be able to just simply teach the world. Our ability to invest in business leadership, our ability to invest in our young people, our ability to invest in what we've proven in this uh, budget to deliver on that means that we can export these skills around the world. We can export leadership around the world. And I'm really proud that we can look on yesterday as a way to look forward. The Prime Minister gave an excellent speech looking at the roadmap to come out for recovery. But I think this goes not just over the next six months and the next year, but this is a budget for decades to come. And I back this budget wholeheartedly. Thank you.